Now you're going to love this. And we were chatting earlier about the World War II veteran who's gone absolutely viral on social media. He's blissfully unaware, isn't Yeah, I he? think so. <laughs> He's 96 uh, years old. And he is one incredible man. Ted Fullerton thought, though, that no one cared about his war stories. This was, though, until Ben Lopez, uh, somebody he met in his local pub, posted about him and his life on Facebook. And it grabbed the attention, almost immediately, of about 400,000 yeah. people. I mean, it went crazy. Katie Rickett is now at the pub where the two men met and you've got a surprise for Ted. I have indeed, but don't tell him yet. I was just telling you earlier about how Ben Lopez, the supervisor here, decided one day to do what he'd been meaning to do for a while and to go and sit and chat to the guy who'd spent a lot of time on his own in the corner and that lovely gentleman is Ted Fullerton, who I'm very excited to meet. Now, Ted, Ben asked you first of all about how you got your medals. So, will you tell the viewers at home how you got those? Well, one medal was just the war medal, but the other one is the defence medal. And that was because during the war, I was in a reserved occupation, really. So, I wasn't due to be called up. And that's how I was working. And uh, I, I was in what they call the secret army. Well, that was because you're in the army, but you're not wearing uniform. You, you try to spy, you see. So if the German had come here, they wouldn't have took me prisoner, they'd have shot me. So that's how I come to get that medal. <laughs> Which is just absolutely shocking, but Ted's life story didn't end there. You actually created something very close to my heart, the machine that makes a Yorkshire pudding, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Yorkshire pudding is just a very small part of it, actually. But I got, actually, I got uh, an accolade from the people in Europe they, they give me a, what they call a Europe. Um, you see, my memory goes again. Your memory's <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> especially considering all the memories that you have. Now, you got quite upset when Ben came uh, spoke to you. You were shocked. Why were you so shocked? Uh, well, I wasn't expecting anything like that. I didn't know this lovely young man was going to get me involved or anything. I mean, I don't regret it. Don't misunderstand me. I mean. I, I'm very much obliged to everybody and you as well. I think I'm very lucky in this sense. It's a lovely girl to see me. <laughs> I think I'm pulled. Uh, and you now have uh, 65,000 people have commented on that post, 260,000 likes. You probably don't even know much about Facebook, but I mean, how do you feel about that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked again, as I say, but. Uh, I was sort of delighted. I couldn't be anything else, could I? Oh, well, you we've know. got a little surprise for you, Ben, if you could go and do the honours. Uh, obviously, if you're not a major user of Facebook, it can be a bit overwhelming. And sometimes it can seem like these people are a long distance away. You've had comments from New Zealand, you've had comments from Australia. Well, actually, we thought we'd bring some comments from the people who made them themselves. Now, these guys all had something to say to you on Facebook. Oh, a round of applause. Now, a couple of people would like to tell you what they thought of your story. So, guys, if you'd like to go first, Steve. I'd just like to say well done, Ben, for bringing Ted into the public eye. And we do appreciate what you've done for everybody and all the other veterans out there. Well done, Ted. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Reg? It's men like Ted and women, of course, that have allowed me to raise my children as well. And if it weren't for men and women like yourself, my kids wouldn't be here and I, I probably wouldn't be in here. So you just thank you. Thank you very much. And Chelsea, finally. I get to see Ted every week and he makes me so happy. He's such a gentleman and always happy. He makes you, you have your little cheeky side. <laughs> always make me smile on everybody else and I'm so proud of you, Ted. Okay. I think we're getting. <laughs> we're delighted by the minute. <laughs> Is it all a bit overwhelming? Yes, what wonderful people. I think we can give Ted that round of applause now. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, and that is why it's worth taking some time to have a chat to a wonderful fellow like Ted when you get the chance. Thank Absolutely. you. You are so right, so Katie. Right. You, you know, there's this whole world that we have no knowledge about. We are so lucky we don't know what war feels like. Absolutely. And then when you have We're someone like war. Ted sitting there with all that inside him, just waiting to come out. And the Ted story, it speaks for a whole generation of people, doesn't Absolutely. it? Those lucky enough to still be with us. Oh, and, and we don't look hands. after older people very well, particularly those who've given so much to us that we're here and free and have the lives we have.
Yeah. I'm not going to like an audience with bit. Ted. It really is. It. It's like a royal meeting. It's a TED talk. Look at that. Brilliant. How's well, well done then? to Ted, mm. and we'll let him enjoy that. As you said, quite overwhelming if you're not yeah. a big user of social media to realise all those messages come in. Yeah. But if only, you know, he'd known about it, he wouldn't have been so sad and lonely no. for the last few Fantastic years. Fantastic so story. Brilliant. When you were buried alive in the wake of this attack, were you left unconscious? So you came to sort of underneath dirt and debris it was um branches ferns shrubs were on top of me when i first came around it was just i could hear my heart beating